Alright, what's going on guys? It's Jev, and uh, yeah. Uh, I don't really know what's going on anymore. So Call of Duty just came out with this bundle, which by the way, I don't even recommend, you know, going to buy stuff on the store and shit like that, considering, you know, Modern Warfare 2 is right around the corner, Warzone 2 is right around the corner and stuff like that. It's not gonna carry over, it's not gonna transfer over, so if you don't care about that, cool, but a lot of people do. So, uh, they added this character into the game that has this ridiculous head. So there was actually another, uh, bundle that came out that was actually paired with this. It's from the series The Umbrella Academy. I've never watched that shit before, so I have no idea, like, what it's even really about uh, i watched a couple scenes and i mean i'd seen that there's like gore and for some reason people are dancing and shit i i don't know sorry for anyone that's actually a fan of the show i just have no idea what i'm looking at i saw some guy that was like walking around in like an office with an axe and he was like killing like a goldfish or some shit i know it sounds ridiculous when i'm explaining it especially if you have no idea what the show is especially when i was watching it the first time i just looked up umbrella academy scene i felt like i was kind of watching the boys to a degree like that kind of style of show where there's like some gore but then there's like a comedic relief there's probably like this whole fandom that i've just stumbled upon and pissed off now where they've argued constantly about which one is better or some shit but i promise you i'm not directly comparing them i i don't really know that much about either of them please don't kill me some people be telling me they're like dude you don't have to be so defensive about some stuff you know it's like no you, you don't understand i've been doing this a long time yeah i do i remember one time i added a mod to skyrim and then i pissed off an entire community of the character that was added into the the mod and they came to the video like angry that i had their character in the the game like i'm somehow the one that made the mod or some shit no beef now it's all cool i've learned my lesson i know but, uh yeah I, I gotta be real careful something feels different about my sensitivity on here now obviously it doesn't seem like the smartest idea in the world to go and pick up the character that literally has the largest brain in the entire game in a game that's kind of about shooting people in the brain so uh you know alexis and i watch so much shit we'll likely get around to watching all of them eventually i'm not usually on top of like a whole bunch of like netflix series and shit like like that it's usually like anime lots of movies and shit too i want to catch up on them it's just there's there's not enough time and i mean once the damascus grind starts at least for a couple weeks it's gonna be hard now the thing is since your character's head is obviously huge right i don't think it actually changes the size of like your hitbox for your head i'm pretty sure every hitbox is exactly the same size no matter how they kind of make the characters everyone seems to be the same exact height other characters feel a little smaller in terms of like their stature but overall the hitbox is still all the same so i'm assuming Assuming that the head hitbox is not any different on this character, it's just, uh, obviously the visual representation is still there. They can aim at it really, really well. The thing is, if they go and shoot me in, like, my ear flaps, for example, like, it just shoots through the side there, they're technically not hitting where that hitbox is, so it could kind of make them feel like it might be a little weird to shoot somebody in the head like this, because you kind of have to shoot me more so in the nose of the mask as opposed to, like, the actual face or head. You know, I can't wait until, like, years down the road. Shit, I probably won't even wait a year i can't wait to come back to vanguard so i can make a video that is titled something like uh going back to the worst call of duty ever i returned back to the worst call of duty i don't think this is the worst call of duty ever i ain't even gonna sit there and entertain all that shit i know everyone's gonna ask me which one i think is the worst blah 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 point being yeah this game is boring yeah aesthetically no one gave a shit but mechanically speaking uh multiplayer experience wise i was shredding on this game i have so many 100 plus kill gameplays just casually on this game i don't even save them all i don't bother i haven't saved gameplays in years but if i was getting these kinds of gameplay back on black ops 2 or some shit i would have had a lot more confidence in my skills i'm just saying the fact that fortified never managed to protect anybody in hardcore is just crazy to me this game went through its entire life cycle without fixing that shit. A lifelong issue with the game and the fortified perk on this game. Why does it not prevent you from dying to explosives? I also heard that Splitgate was uh, pretty much shutting down or like the devs are basically moving on to a new game. I imagine that they're going to make, you know, a really, really good game in the future. So I'll probably play it as well. So they said it's going to have guns and portals. So I mean, fuck it. Why not? Splitgate was a really strange case because I actually really liked the game. I think the game was actually really good. Uh, content was just kind of lacking a little bit also the game had a pretty high skill floor so a lot of people would literally try the game out or they would see the game and not try it at all that's the problem with having too high of a skill floor in a game where people end up seeing things and they're just like yeah i'm not even gonna do that for example if fortnite immediately from the jump was just a whole bunch of people building the way that they do now i know there's a lot of no build now but i'm saying 
If the game launched like that and immediately that's what people were seeing at first, the game never even would have taken off. People do not have fun coming in and trying to play a game where they feel like they are already behind. Even if you all started at the same time, they know they're just not that good at it inherently. Got our ass Yo, Jeb, I you? start the game late and end up at the top of the charts. Yo. Good. GG, Yo, bro. what's good? GG's. Nothing, chilling. I was Look literally just watching right. video while That's, I don't even want you to capture a flag no more. I just want you to use your peripheral vision. I'm tired oh, of you motherfuckers jumping and oh look at this shit. He did all of us because everybody's scared to come out all right, the doorway. Y'all right? day. Day. be scared to come out the doorway. Are you feeling this shit? Do you feel all of them gunshots or something? What's the problem? Can't be having your fun, getting your ass whooped. They just whooped the fuck out of our ass. Dude running around with a big old pink head whooping our ass. <laughs> 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 whooping our ass. <laughs> yeah, I love Splitgate, man. Like, even right now, I would love to go and play it. I really would. It's just, again, it's that lack of content and a lot of people just kind of passively... Uh, I don't really feel like playing this kind of hard game. I think people were scared of Splitgate. I I'm not even gonna lie. I think people are scared of Splitgate. I think they saw Splitgate, they were intimidated by it, they know it's a good game. They know for a fact it's a good game. Because it objectively is. And they're just gonna pretend like there was some other issue that would just completely prevent them from playing a great game. They're making another game in the future. Um, hopefully, you know, it won't be too long, but you never know. We don't know if it would feel a lot like Splitgate. It would be kind of like rebranded if they're gonna really like stick into that Halo style because they didn't mention anything about Halo style. They just said guns and portals. So again, that to me is telling me like skill floor is probably up a little bit just because of the portals even existing. That it's hard for some people to get down, especially in the process of shooting. Some people are overwhelmed with just one or the other, not both at the same time. A shooting portal game sounds scary to people. If you were going to introduce somebody to a brand new game and they don't play very many video games or very many shooters or portal games, I'm probably not going to recommend that they play the portal shooter. I'm going to recommend that they play, I don't like Animal Crossing or, or something, something that is not mechanically going to struggle rest you out to that point. Hey, trust me, I know. Oh, there's a grind in Animal Crossing. I've seen Alexis do her shit. There's a grind, but it's not like that demand aim locking all that, you know what I'm saying? All that crazy shit. But yeah, uh, rip split gate. I might make one more split gate video. I might. I don't know. Big pink head is there. The show seems cool though.